Hey gang, so love can happen when you least expect it. Case in point, I met my wife by helping a friend of mine move into his new apartment with his new roommate. Unfortunately for him, uh, nine months later, he had to find a new roommate because my wife and I decided to fall uh, in love and get our own apartment. No, not nine months because of a baby. It just happened that way. Sean, what's the point of this? We don't care about your personal life. Well, my point is, like I said, love happens when you least expect it. And that's exactly what happened to me with the Wan Wu Reactive Armor Shield. Um, I love this thing. This might be my favorite fidget ever. And it's crazy because it's small. It's not that expensive when you compare it to the rest of the fidgets out there. But man, oh man, do I love this thing. Um, let me show you why. Let's go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at this little beauty. Now again, this is one of these things when you first see it, uh, for one, in pictures, it always looks way bigger than it is. And again, this is sort of the problem with scale that we all always run into. Uh, I am going to show you a size comparison with the mechanical milk cap and the Magnus wave slider. Now, this thing is small. Okay, let's take these away. And again, for anybody that really needs to know and, and you know, kind of lives their life in, let's see, millimeters. Here we go. We are looking at about, where are we? Okay, so we're looking at about 40. It's like 39.8, it's 40. We're gonna call it 40, okay? So 40 millimeters, what is that in inches? That's like one point, almost 1.6. Now, what really matters though is the the size comparison, let's say to your hand. Now, if I'm holding this, right, when you see people hold these fidgets, they look big, but let's put it in the palm of my hand and I'm going to zoom out. This guy is little. It's like half the length of my middle finger. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back in now. All right, so let's talk about why I love it. Um, I've, I've started leaning towards uh, more and more kind of gravitating towards uh, smaller fidgets. Why? Because they're easy to take with you. Um, I throw this thing in my pocket. It takes up almost no space at all. A lot of pants have little sort of smaller inner pockets and this fits in there perfectly. This also has a unique design to it in that it's curved. So you can see the bottom plate is flat here but it is curved on the magnet side. And then the top plate, again, flat on top, but curved where it connects with the magnets. So what that gives you is this really unique slide where you can pinch and slide it side to side. which is really awesome. And with the, the sliding up, of course it slides down. It's a two click in either direction. And yes, you can, when I'm not paying attention, or you can ladder. Come on, get it together, Sean, here. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna stop looking at my phone. Oh my God. Is this where it falls apart? No. Okay, it's early guys, it's morning. I haven't gotten my laddering in yet, but this is just to show you. Now, this is not a super fast because it can pop off like I'm showing you. It's not really meant for laddering, but you can if you're careful. Where this does excel though, is this sliding around. Because of the curve, Just being able to slide it like that is such a cool feeling. I do this all day. When I'm driving, when I'm walking around, it's got a nice loud pop to it. Now it's important, you can also slide it from the top. You're sort of pushing it from this other 
side. But what I figured out is this little piece is not just an aesthetic design, it's actually grip, right? This actually gives you a bit of um, these little treads give you a little bit of extra grip and friction. So it's much easier. Plus it's easier to push in to the curve, I find, than pushing on top of the curve. This still works, but it's a little tougher to do these little side to side tricks. Whereas, oh great, my notifications go off. Okay, so I just had to turn my volume down. Uh, it's easier to do all these little tricks See, and you can even kind of bring it up and just turn it around. I'm trying to make it flat to the camera so that you guys can see it. But the curve just kind of gives it this, this, this sort of its desire to go back in instead of a totally flat piece where it can kind of decide to go left or right, up or down when it wants to fly off. When you're kind of playing with this one, it just wants to snap back to the inside of the curve because it's kind of pushing along this little edge. And again, I can't really show you well down, but it's just something about it. It traps it inside. And what I like about it too, because of its size, you can palm it really well. So you can either go super loud or quiet. Because you can close your hand around it. So, it's great for walking around. Like if you want to use this in the mall and you don't want everybody giving you dirty looks because you're going crack, crack, look at my fidget, look at my slider. Nah, you don't have to be that person. You can actually just cup and have a much more muted sound. So I love this thing. It's great. It's small. It's tiny. It's kind of sexy, really. It's this fun little fidget. Now, is that weird that the theme of this is falling in love with somebody and I called it sexy? I don't know. Some sliders are sexy. They just are. I would like to try a bigger one at one point uh, just to see the difference, but the size with this feels perfect. If you have the chance to try one, you should try it. If you can get it, if you, now in this case, I did this on a trade, which is the perfect way to try a new slider, actually, in my opinion, because no money is spent and you take a chance and if you don't like it, you can just trade it on again. So yeah, if you get the chance, I would definitely recommend trying this out. Um, this thing is going to stay with me for a long time. Now I know I say that about a lot of my fidgets and then I end up selling them and trading them because I do get bored with them, but I also need to just have new content. So, um, I end up passing them along. So it's like, okay, well I got enough out of this one time for a new one. But this is one of those ones that, um, I hope I keep for a while because it's actually great. And in fact, I'd love to see, uh, what different versions of them feel like. So that may be next on the list is one of the bigger shields because this is uh, awesome. Maybe a year of the rabbit. Eh, I'm starting to think maybe that's one that's on my bucket list. All right. Thanks for watching guys. We had a